The only thing that Kangata has not mentioned, he was my student in politics, and that's why he's vibrant. <laughs> Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Amaniade, <laughs> Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Your, Excel Your Excellency Raila Amolodinga, the People's President. Hayo mengine hao ndi wanajua walishikana mikono. The family of uh, Kenneth Matiba, uh, more particularly Edith Matiba, the people of Muranga, the people of Kenya, because this is a national celebration. I wanted to tell the bishop here that I may not be a prophet, I may not be a seer, I may not be even a man of God, because I live in the comfort and the solace of the word of the scriptures that we are all sinners and fallen short of the glory of God. But I can say this, if ever there is a politician who will go to heaven and is in heaven is Kenneth Matiba. <laughs> I really am not sure about the rest, <laughs> including myself. <laughs> because, and Bishop, I was touched when you quoted the book of Samuel. And those words of Samuel, I'm asking Raela Molodinga, together with the President Uru Kenyatta, maybe we should take that scripture and put it in all the offices, all the public offices, all the party offices, <laughs> so that every Kenyan leader can say, I have never taken somebody's donkey or somebody's ox. <laughs> because in Kenya, instead of taking the donkey, they will take the whole flock. So I come here as somebody who shares an experience and a history with, uh, with Kenneth Matiba. I went to the same school, Alliance High School. I am an Anglican. I don't know whether the bishop uh, would know that, but I'm an Anglican. <laughs> but I'm not as good Anglican as bishop, as, as Matiba. And I want to say this, and, and, and I'm glad that the top leadership of this country is here. Time has come that every Kenyan man and woman, we should decide in the words of the Constitution with the people. And those words, by the way, probably are from Matiba, let us the people decide with the people. Let us together build one country called Kenya. I always find it disappointing that we are more united when there's a funeral. We are united in death. But when it comes to politics, brother against brother. Community against community. So I hope with this new dispensation that we are going through, we should be able to bury tribalism and Kenya becomes one indivisible nation. You know, when you are a patriot like Katiba, like Matiba, even the words you speak in Kikuyu find resonance in other languages. Like when you say Kuganaguika. The Luos also say Wachogitimu. Just three words, Kuganaguika. Wachogitimu. And then he says, onward ever, forward ever, backward never. And in Lua we say, ongeringo. So the language of Matiba is a national language for everybody to build one country called Kenya under one constitution <laughs> and under one law. Finally, I, finally, 
I hope that we shall follow the footstep of Kenneth Njindo Matiba and we as, as politicians get together and talk the language of peace and unity, the language of bringing people together and the language that would enable us to work for Kenyans together without calling each other's names which we cannot repeat to ourselves in private. I therefore mourn with you and hope that Matiba will rest in peace. But the family, we are with you, we're in solidarity with you. This morning as I was coming here, I was reading a letter that Mandela wrote to his wife sometimes in 69 when he was in prison. And he was talking about a commander of an African army in the 17th century who went with his men and his son to hunt for game. His son was killed by a lion and the, the commander was mauled by a lion. To treat his wounds, they had to use a red hot spear. And when he was asked what he felt when he was reading in pain, he said, it is not the visible pain, it is the invisible pain. There is invisible pain that we have caused this family that I hope, I'm hoping, and I'm not asking the president, I think we as leaders, all of us, one of these days, if you are really truthful and honest to God, apologize to the Matiba family because there's not enough, and I apologize to Edith, which, who has uh, had this pain for more than 30 years. And together, because the people who actually made Matiba die in prison, they are alive, they are here. Let them be found. Because they are still alive, I know at least one. And those people must be dealt with perpendicular. I thank you. God bless.